Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on exponential functions. We're giving a couple clues and ask to find what A and B is. And of course there should be two clues because we have two variables. Alright, so let's get started. I like those kind of questions. They are, they're tricky but pleasant. Okay, a times b to the x. The first clue, of course, I'm going to use the easy clue, zero. I always like a zero. Zero and one are my friends. So basically, at point zero, one, they're saying when x is equal to zero, y is equal to one. So I ask you to substitute it back in there. So let's take it y equal to one, a times b, x equal to zero. So we're going to put a zero here. Okay. Using this clue, we can see, well, y is equal to a, anything to the 0 is 1. That's not a mystery, hopefully, because x divided by x equal to 1. And knowing your theorems and property of exponents, you know that's x minus 1 equal to 1. So I'm just keep on equating on the left, x to the 0 equal to 1. Okay, so anything to the 0 is a 1. All right, so here, the clue basically says a is equal to 1. Because how else would you have 1 equal to a times 1? Okay, so a has to be 1. So the first block, using the first clue, we have the a equal to 1. That's not too bad. And that's to use second clue. Since a equal to 1, I have 1 times b to the x. Second clue says at point minus 3, 1 over 27 fits in this equation. Well, let's take a look. This is x and this is y. So that's y is 1 over 27, 1 times b, x is equal to minus 3. Now, when you get over here, you, you might be struggling and say, well, how do I get b? There are a couple ways. You can use natural log, which is kind of uh, overkill for this problem, because 1 over 27 is really equal to 1 over 3 to the cube. 3 cubed is 27. As you know, 1 over anything is equal to 3 to the negative exponents. Okay, so this property actually is pretty important. Basically it says 1 over x to the m is equal to x to the minus m. Okay, does not equal to minus x to the m. It's never in the front. It's always on the hat. Think of the hat has a hole, okay? This minus sign poked a hole in it. It's always in the exponents. So using that property, we can sort of trick the system here. We're going to rewrite this one into 1 over 3 to the cube equal to b to the minus 3. Now from here, you can either say 3 to the minus 3 is equal to b to the minus 3. Looking at the exponents the same, then I'm going to be equating the bottom, which is b equal to 3. Has to be, right? Or when you get over here, you realize 1 over 27 is really 1 over 3 to the uh, third. You can, using our newfound property, say 1 over 3, I'm not going to change that. I'm going to leave it alone. Is equal to, since I have a minus cube over there, that's equal to 1 over b to the cube. That's how I get rid of this negative exponents. And from here, 1 and 1 is equivalent cube and cube is equivalent, so therefore b has to equal to 3. Okay. Either way, it doesn't matter which one that um, you come up with, so long you recognize negative exponents as 1 over to the positive exponents. That's what the important part is. All right, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.